Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I have reviewed a Morphe palette, but I love doing it. I love Morphe palettes, and when I saw this one, I knew I had to review it. So today I'm going to be talking about this beautiful purple palette right here. This is the 39S Such a Gem Artistry Palette. And I'm going to compare this to a few of the palettes that I have in my collection. I used it on my eyes today. I have a few thoughts. So if you're interested in my review, then just keep on watching. So as usual, Morphe's palettes are very affordable. This is a $35 palette, so less than a dollar per shadow you're paying for this palette. And you can usually get discount codes. I'm gonna go ahead and link this down below. I'm still waiting, crossing my fingers that Morphe will give me a discount code one day, but I have not been able to get one yet. But I wanted to give you guys a little rundown of this palette. I'm gonna jump right into showing you swatches. I went ahead and used stencils for my swatches this time. I just like the stencils because I feel like they make them look a little bit more neat and beautiful. But this palette is full of mattes, shimmers, and cream eyeshadows, I would call them. This middle row here with the bigger pan sizes, they all are like a creamy, buttery, not a dry formula. They're really interesting and they actually pack a really nice punch. There are some shades in here that are more duochrome, and then this little shade down here is actually a pressed glitter. I feel like the ethereal kind of unicorn slash crystal vibe is where a lot of makeup is headed, and I feel like this fits into that little category very nicely, but in a more sophisticated grown-up way. So I'm actually wearing this on my eyes right now. I forgot to mention this does come with the little sheet with the names on it. It's the one thing I really can't stand about Morphe palettes. Just put the name on the palette, please, for people who are trying to follow along with makeup tutorials. It is impossible. I was unable to share the names when I took clips of me doing my makeup, so I'm just going to talk you through it and I'm going to lay this down and let you know how I did my eye look today. First, I took a light kind of lilac-y pink color called Pink Prize, and I put that all into my crease. Then I took a deep matte purple called Make It Rain, and I put that into the outer corner and the inner corner of my eye, starting the look of a halo eye. And then I started to mix in another kind of medium tone purple called Purple Majesty into that to make it blend together a little bit more nicely. Then I took this beautiful shimmer out of the top left corner called Make It Rain, and I I used that as the center of my halo look and I finished off the look with a duochrome color called here for it and I tapped that into the middle of my lid as kind of a topper for the previous eyeshadow and that is how I came up with my eye look today I will say for purples everything blended very very nicely I've had purples be hit or miss before in the past another palette that I really enjoy that is purple vibes is the it's my pleasure palette from ColourPop I really love that one as well and it does have the duochrome vibes as well but both of which are affordable palettes and ColourPop and Morphe are both really good quality in my book so everything blended really nicely on the eyes everything packed a punch and was very pigmented when I was swatching some of these especially some of the more duochrome and shimmer shades some of them did seem to be a little bit more sheer than others but all were buildable and you could get them to be opaque but for example that big shade right there that I use as a topper. It is kind of a sheer duochrome color, so not all of these are going to be like a foil shadow as soon as you swipe them onto your lid. And I would recommend either using a synthetic flat brush or your finger for some of the creamy shades. That is how you're going to get the best payoff in my opinion. So obviously this is packed full of purples and kind of cherry. If you move towards the right side of the palette, you get some kind of red cherry-ish colors, which is really pretty. So this is going to complement all eye colors, but it's really going to make greens, browns, and hazels stand out. So if you guys have that eye color, which I do, I really recommend trying purples at least because you're going to make your eye color look crazy. But initially when I saw this palette, I thought to myself, hmm, I have the Fall Into Frost palette, the 35F. Is this anything like that? So let me just show you how different they are. So this, this is the 35F. This is what came to mind when I thought purple palette from Morphe. Man, 
was I wrong? The 35F is a much more neutral based jewel tone type fall palette. Definitely not a purple palette in any way. And then I have a couple other 39 pan palettes that Morphe has done in the past. The most obvious being the James Charles palette. So here is the James Charles. Obviously a lot more colorful. It's got like a full range of color in it. It does have shimmers and mattes but this is much more cool tone, much more focused on purples. I just don't think they share a lot of similarities. Obviously if you're looking for more neutral everyday colors, James Charles does have more of those in his palette. We're not going to talk about that for too long because of the drama and I'm not in the mood. And then last up, I think this might have been the first 39 pan palette, at least for me. This is the 39A Dare to Create palette. And this again, totally different vibe from the purple palette. This is like almost fully neutral, but it does have some greens and blues in it. I feel like a lot of people loved this palette. Am I wrong? Am I thinking of a different palette? This looks really beautiful for fall, does it not? I might need to whip this out in the fall. You guys remind me, please. Somebody remind me. I need to do a fall look with this palette. But yeah, that is pretty much all that I have to say about this 39S palette. It's definitely going to be up to personal preference. If you guys enjoy purples, you might love this palette. Um, if you're more of a neutral lover and you're curious about the formula and everything in this palette, I think it's a beautiful formula right on par with some of the newer releases from Morphe, like the James Charles palette. Oh so yeah, I don't know why this feels like it's going to be such a short review for me. Normally I am running my mouth a lot more than I am in this video. But I think that's all that I have to say about this beautiful palette. You guys let me know if you picked it up or if you're interested in picking it up. I will leave all the information on this down below in the description box. Okay, but that is it for this video. I'm really hungry. I need to go eat something. Thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging out with me. And hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye.